Are you a hater of medicine or a lover of life? Every time you turn on the television, open a newspaper or a magazine, you're likely to find some sort of publication that's promoting prescription drugs. Many years ago, I did a workshop where patients came into the office and I began to teach them about different aspects and ways to view health. The majority of that particular workshop largely consumed of different newspaper and journal articles that were publicized to show how prescription drugs and medications, although commonly taken and believed to be the source of health and healing, have been shown by their own medical science to be very harmful, sometimes including death. At that time, I would review articles like this one here, where Dr. David Graham, a researcher for the FDA, blew the whistle, so to speak, where he exposed Vioxx and how dangerous that particular drug was. Or articles like this, where the newspaper talks about how Celebrex causes diseases and increases the risk of things like stroke and even heart problems. And then there's articles like this one here that talks about how painkillers can increase the risk of kidney failure. That's right, I mean, you look at stuff like this, and this is an article from years and years ago. This is something that's not new to the community or new in research, but it talks about here how if you take between 105 to 365 acetaminophen per year, it increases your risk of kidney failure by over 40%. And then I would go through even publications like out of Time Magazine, where it says, what doctors hate about hospitals. And when it comes down to it, it's being you, according to this article here. The scariest thing for doctors and healthcare workers is being put into the position of being you, the patient. In fact, many people will even joke or chuckle when they hear the list of side effects, sometimes even including death, as they're raced upon at the end of a television commercial. Well, I'll never forget that after I did that first particular workshop, a patient came in shortly after and she says, man, doc, I learned so much about health and, and different drugs and how they negatively affect the body. And then she said something that has stood with me forever. And she said, I've never met somebody who hated medication so much. Now at the time, being young and inexperienced, I kind of got a little prideful and I kind of puffed up myself and I was proud that, you know, she said that. But then later on, I recall, as I was in my quiet time, in my prayer time, I remember just thinking and hearing the Lord ask me, so is it that you're a hater of medicine or perhaps a lover of life? And that changed from that point forward, the way I viewed how I educate and what I teach and how I teach it and really what it is that I do. Listen, the truth is we are being bombarded by media that's out there. I recall at one point hearing that the pharmaceutical industry, if nothing else, is known for being the best marketers in the world. After all, some people will give up everything that they have in the belief that that drug or medication is what they need to achieve the level of health that they desire in their health. The truth is we are in fact being bombarded with a ton of different avenues of marketing and publications that are telling us that drugs are the solution, the answer, so we can all achieve better life and better health. The truth is we are in fact being bombarded with a variety of different types of media that's always in our face telling us that drugs and medications are in fact the solution to be able to achieve better life and better health. But is it? I recall at one point hearing of how the pharmaceutical industry has a specific purpose with their marketing techniques. In fact, I recall hearing at one point that the pharmaceutical industry has a specific goal, which is by the time the average person is 21 years of age, they want them to have been exposed to over 18,000 hours of drug propaganda. If nothing else, the pharmaceutical industry, although perhaps their intent is to help, what they're known for more than anything else is putting the greatest amount of effort not into how to help you become healthy, but in how to brainwash you or get you to believe that what they do is the solution to your health. Let's face it, most people realize that this is going on. The problem, however, is that those same people who realize that perhaps drugs and surgery aren't the answer, in fact, to better life and health, they still don't relate it to them. For some reason, our own way of thinking is such that we never believe that it could actually happen to us or that if we're gonna have a reaction to a drug or a medication of some sort, that if it's not right away, we assume it's never gonna happen. However, that's not the case. Listen, the American population itself only accounts for roughly 5% of the entire world population. 
Yet, we consume as Americans more drugs and medications, both prescription and over-the-counter, than the rest of the world combined. Therefore, if drugs and medications were in fact the solution to achieve better life and health and live a long, vibrant life, then being that we take more than anybody else, our health would be at the top. But unfortunately, according to the World Health Organization, among other studies, that's not the case. The truth is, your body was created to be healthy, to function and heal and be the full expression of life the way God created you. And although many people believe that their drugs and medications are an important part of their well-being, the truth is there is no drug or potion or pill that can heal the way the innate wisdom of your body was created. My position as a chiropractor is not to tell a patient to or not to take a drug or medication, but rather to empower them with truth and knowledge so they know exactly what to do to not only get healthy, but to stay healthy. The truth is, the more you're empowered with truth and knowledge of just how incredible your body was created and how chiropractic is an essential part of keeping your body functioning free of interferences to the nervous system, your body will be that full expression of life from inside out the way God created you. After having been able to educate and talk with thousands and thousands of patients through the years, I found that many people will tell you that the moment their doctor tells them they have some sort of health complication, whether that's diabetes or high blood pressure, perhaps high cholesterol, regardless of the case, in many people, they'll say that there was something that happens inside that a sense of urgency rises up and they realize at that moment that something has to change. The danger, however, is although in many cases their doctor means well by controlling their condition or symptom via medications, many people, once they begin that process of taking medications, that urgency, that sense of, I have to do something to be able to improve my life and their health, it goes away. And next thing you know, most people find themselves back where they were before, where they've changed nothing regarding their lifestyle or how to get the body what it needs to heal at its best, but look at the drugs as the solution with the idea that if the numbers quote are normal, then once again, they are normal, which is a mechanistic viewpoint instead of that of a vitalistic viewpoint. You see, it's not about telling you to not take medications. It's about telling you and helping you to understand clearly so you have no doubts whatsoever the potential you and your family have to truly heal and be at your best. You see, it's not about being a hater of medicine but instead being a lover of life, understanding the potential that we all have to be the full expression of life from inside out. And the more that we understand what health is, the more we can do what it takes to not only get healthy, but to avoid sickness, disease, pain, and suffering. It's not good enough to simply cover up symptoms of disease while suffering from inside out. You deserve better. The catch, however, is not only must you understand health and the potential you have, but you must also be proactive and put forth the efforts that it takes in order to achieve the level of health that you desire within your heart. Eat healthy, exercise, get plenty of rest, and don't forget, chiropractic is not about healing your body, but it's about seeing how the stresses of life are affecting your nervous system, to find then and remove any interferences to your nervous system so your body can function the way that you're created to function and you can then be healthy. Until next time, I'm Dr. Joel Feeman to empower you with truth and knowledge and help you and your family to truly understand what it means to be the vibrant expression of life the way you're created. Until next time, God bless.